Hey everyone, it's the Gadget Guru. Um, this is going to be a new meta talk video, I guess you could call it. Um, it's going to be dealing with Infernities, if you can see that. Let me blow this picture up. Oh, my pop up blocker is being gay. Give me one second, there you go. Infernities. That's what this video is going to be on. Um, and right now there's a lot of hype about Infernities, and everyone's going. Yeah, it's just hype, you know, there's nothing to it, blah, 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 the deck will die pretty soon, etc., etc., which I can somewhat agree with, and I can and I can disagree with at the same time. Now, let me tell you why. The, the, the Why the deck is considered so good is because the combo re consists with these three cards. The first card being Inferity Archfiend. Um, Four-star Dark Monster, when you draw this card, will you have zero cards in your hand by showing this card to your opponent, special them to your field. Also, when this card is special summoned successfully, if you have zero cards in your hand, you can add one Infernity card from your deck to your hand. So basically, you can search any Infernity card. It searches out this card, Infernity Launcher. It's a continuous spell card. Once per turn, you can send one Infernity from your monster from your hand to the graveyard. That doesn't really do anything. They don't use that much. Sometimes they do you use it to clear their hand, but generally, that's just there to help them do that. While you have no cards in your hand, you can send this face-up card from the field to the graveyard to select up to two Infernity monsters in your graveyard and special summon them. So basically, you special summon Infernity Archfiend and it automatically searches this. Now, you're thinking, well, who cares about special summoning Archfiend, you know? The, the, okay, they special summon them one time, who cares? That's where Beetle comes in. Beetle tributes itself to get two more Beetles from your deck. So what they do is they go summon beetle summon archfiend off of launcher archfiend search uh archfiend searches launcher activate launcher tribute beetle get two more beetles synchro into a six star activate launcher get beetle and archfiend back archfiend again searches another launcher activate archfiend you know it just it's just a loop and you can pop out synchros like I don't know, like eggs or something, whatever you want to call it, like a bird shitting a bunch of eggs. It pops out synchro so fast. And then, of course, if you don't normal summon from the turn, if you get both of those from your graveyard, he can search out Mirage, which you can normal summon, and it does the same thing as Gun. So the deck is, like, really broken. And that's why people are so hyped about it, because this, these three cards are pretty much an OTK. And, you know, people are thinking, well, you know, it's not that hard to stop, bottomless Archfiend or something. But, you know, any... Any Infernity deck worth its salt, if you look at my Infernity deck that I posted, any Infernity deck worth its salt is going to be running Trunade, um, you know, it's going to be running Trap Stuns, maybe Decree, I don't I don't like Decree though, but they might, who knows. But yeah, so, honestly, I, I, they're most likely going to have something to stop basically that. Um, you know, I'm going to do a video after this, and I'm going to try and record some hands from the Infernity deck and show you what I'm talking about. Um, so if I can do that, I will. Um, I said this is just, I'm just going to record a few hands against uh, decks and for the playtesting against the decks, I'm going to use YVD. If you don't know what that is, this is basically a dueling program. Give me a second. There we go. YVD. It's basically a dueling program that I can duel any deck I want with with my real decks. So, there you go. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yu Gi Oh! Virtual Dueling Version 9.1. There you go. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, I'll put a link in the bottom showing you how to get to this. And you can download this. It's, it's really nice. Uh, you download this, it has all the cards on it. You can build whatever your deck. You can save them into a file. See, I've got my decks there. I only have three right now because I'm not really that <laughs> savvy. I'm building a bunch of decks. So I'm going to play test against this uh, in my next video so I can show you some of the hands and how it deals with the top decks. So that will be the next video.